Hey, Facebook, it's me, Evangelist Shakira, coming at you to bring you a quick word from God. I'm actually bringing a word from my hotel room and homestead. I have to preach part two tonight um, in ministry. And I know it's a little dark in the room, but God gave me a word while I was laying here. And I ain't going to lie, I was too lazy to get up and turn on the light. So uh, instead, listen to the words that's coming out of my mouth. Disregard these right behind goals, <laughs> but uh, just hear the words that are coming out of my mouth, like, you know, in the midst of the video being so dark. Um, God gave me uh, the word choices. God said, tell my people to be careful of the choices they're making in this uh, season. The enemy is uh, playing mind games uh, in your head to uh, uh, speaking in your ears to make you uh, choose uh, him instead of Christ. For example, every choice you make in life comes with consequences. If you yield to the voice of the enemy, those consequences can be uh, you losing your kids. Those consequences can be... Um, you going to jail, they can be um, you, you know, death coming along, like all kind of things, you know, come along with making uh, choices to yield to the enemy's voice instead. If you choose to follow Christ, if you choose to listen to the voice of God instead, they'll, it'll come with grace. It'll come with mercy. It'll come with favor. It'll come with, you know, so many more positive things. So the question is, which, uh, 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 which person would you yield to? Who will you choose today to serve on this day? Uh, you, the, the choices you make in life um, can affect you in a big way. The choices you make in life can even affect the people around you. For instance, you can choose not to be in and out of jail. Just because your father was in jail, his father was in and out of jail, your uncles, your cousins, it could be a generational thing. You can choose on this day to uh, break these generational curses. It's all about choices. If everyone around you is getting pregnant, and this is for the young ladies, in high school and middle school, if everyone around you is getting pregnant, if everyone think it's cute to get pregnant at a young age, you can choose not to be a statistic and be a follower. You can choose on this day, I'll be a leader. Um, fellas, if your father wasn't in your life, you can choose to be a great father to your child. You understand? You can break these generational curses. Everything is all about choices. You got to choose to do something different. You got to choose to fight in the midst of you struggling through your finances. You got to choose not to give up and, and, and to trust God. You got to choose to walk on faith. You got to choose to have courage. You got to choose to have strength. You got to choose to not give up. Everything in life is about choices. You got to choose to want your children to live a better life than you have. I don't want my kids following the same mistakes I made. I don't want my kids sleeping with the same sex because I slept with it. I don't want my kids in and out of the jail. I chose to give my kids a better life. I chose to introduce my children, you know, to Jesus so that they can know the ways, you know what I mean, of life. I choose uh, to not to be another statistic. St statistic. I'm sorry. I choose to do something different. I chose to not have my kids follow in my footsteps because I want better for them. Listen, we got to choose to even be better parents. Choose to teach your children how to pray because the enemy is after a whole nother uh, generation. He's not after the older people no more. He's after the younger people. You got to choose to do better in life. Choose God. Listen. Oh, I hear you, Holy Spirit. God is not a rapist. God is not a rapist. He don't force himself on anybody. Usually when men rape women, they force their selves when the men is saying no. God is not a rapist. He ain't finna force himself on you if you still says, no, I don't want to receive you. No, I don't want to receive you. God ain't finna force himself on you. He's not a rapist. But what he will do is sit there patiently waiting for you to say, Lord, come into my heart. Let me give you a try. God is saying, choose me on this day. God is saying, once you choose me on this day for the month of October, everything you've been wanting, once you choose to try me, you will begin to see that everything you will, you've been wanting and praying for will, will begin to fall in place. Because if you put me first, if you choose to put me first, everything else will fall in place for you. Ladies, I just made a status the other day talking about how uh, as women, we tend to be so in love. We tend to put these men, you know what I mean, before God. God is saying, choose me first. God is saying, if you choose me first, I'll make your husband 
a faithful man. God is saying, if you choose me and put me first, I'll make your dad beat baby daddy a great father. God is saying, if you choose me first and put me first, I'll make your one night stands want to wake up to you every morning instead of just for one night after sex. God is saying, if you choose me first, I'll turn your boyfriend into a husband. That's the kind of God we serve. God is saying better choices, my people. Better choices, better choices, better choices, better choices, my people. Hear the words of the Lord. We have to make better choices. I pray that this video has blessed you. If you got nothing out of this video, try to make better choices in life. We have to do better. Sometimes we sit there and we say, oh yes, God is a forgiving God. He's going to forgive us for our sins. And you want to go, you know, uh, steal or make the choice to steal out of the store or go, go, go make the choice to sell dope or make the choice to do this and do that. You, ch you choose to make that choice and then you say, God, forgive me. But then you do the same thing again. Then you say, God, forgive me. Then you do the same thing. God is saying, choose to let that sin go. God said, when you ask for forgiveness, you repent and you turn away from. So I'm asking you today to choose which voice will you yield to? Which master will you be serving? Choose heaven instead of hell. If this video has blessed you, you know, go ahead and hit share on your page to bless somebody else. Or if it has blessed you, tag somebody under it. Let's not be stingy with God. To be stingy and not tell nobody about God is to deny him. Because that is what God wants us to do. Go out and tell others. Compel others to come. Go out and tell other people how good God is to you. Because he's sure been good to me. So I pray that you will make the right choice by sharing this video. I pray that you will make the right choice by tagging a friend on this video. I pray that you will make the right choice to follow Christ instead. When you go to seeing these people living in the world and serving Satan and you go to seeing these people with these big rims and name brand clothes and nice cars, nice houses, that's not God blessing them. You got to remember the enemy also bless people for doing his work. Oh yeah, I said it. So don't be moved by what you see. Choose God on this day. Y'all have a good day. I'm going to get me some rest and prepare myself for the night. God bless you all.